can already see that she is in one of the worst condition health-wise I've ever seen. Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. My 600-pound life revolves around the stories of extremely obese patients who weigh nearly 600 pounds. These are the people who are at serious risk of death as a result of their extreme obesity. Some of the patients on the show share painful stories about why they began binge eating and the impact it was having on their daily lives. Here are some of the stories of the patients that will disturb you. Mercedes Cephas. I've gotten so big that it's hard to do just about anything. Mercedes Cephas made an appearance on season seven in 2019. Mercedes was a 37-year-old mother of two from Cincinnati, Ohio. Mercedes' eating habits and way of living were endangering her life because she weighed 773 pounds. She was also jeopardizing the safety of her two children. Mercedes Cephas had a difficult childhood. As she grew in size, the roles in her household shifted and the children were forced to take care of the mother instead of the other way around. She couldn't move and was suffering from a painful case of acute lymphedema. After a long time of thinking, she was finally ready to make a change in her life and began her weight loss journey. She reached Dr. Now's office and he put her on a strict diet and exercise routine. Despite the fact that she wanted to reduce weight in order to live a normal life, she failed to reach Dr. Now's goals during the episode. By the end of the year, she hadn't lost enough weight to qualify for surgery, and she was constantly whining and making excuses for her lack of progress. And if you were sticking to the diet, then you would have lost over 220 pounds in that time. So what happened? I cut out a lot of stuff, but... She eventually left Houston and is now living in Cincinnati, Ohio. Earlier this year, she started a GoFundMe page to raise money for weight loss surgery, but she only raised $175 of her $10,000 goal. Penny Seeger. Sometimes it feels like I'm dead. I cannot do the things that normal people take for granted. Penny Seeger was 530 pounds at the start of her journey on the show. We all know how difficult it is to change one's life, but folks like Penny appear hesitant to even try despite her potentially life-threatening predicament. Penny Sager was one of these ladies, losing only 35 pounds during her segment on the show. And despite having gastric bypass surgery, Penny gained five pounds and eventually decided to leave Houston against Dr. Now's medical advice, quitting the program. The bariatric surgeon described Penny's situation as unfortunate. In her follow-up episode, Dr. Now didn't hold back to pull all the punches, suggesting that her addiction will eventually kill her. Uh, I, I don't think this conversation is getting anywhere. It's your life and I'm your not. decision. Penny isn't really active on social media. Although she claimed that she lost more than 200 pounds, the fans of the show believe that her weight loss effort is not continuing well. Penny's husband published a number of images of his wife in 2018. That clarifies things. Aside from looking happier than she did on the show, her weight seemed to have remained constant, and she is still utilizing a nasal aspirator for her breathing problems. Holly Hager. Okay. You gotta get healthy. Okay. By the time she arrived at Dr. Now, Holly Hager had gained almost 600 pounds. Meanwhile, it was evident that if she wanted to improve her life and develop positive habits, she had a lot of work ahead of her. When Holly Hager's weight loss began to halt, she went to see Dr. Now, and in the end, she needed the tough love to get things moving. She had been overweight since she could remember and had been depressed since she was a teenager. Despite losing 398 pounds, she then began eating more, broke the staples, and returned to 500 pounds in a year at the age of nearly 40. I've had some trouble with cravings still, and it's just a repeating record in my head that plays over and over and over until I give in. It Holly weighed 658 pounds and had to restart her weight loss journey. Fortunately, she also saw a therapist this time to deal with her mental difficulties, so her chances of being successful in the long run were much higher this time. She also appears to be still residing in the Houston area, so being close to Dr. Now can't hurt if she ever needs his help in the future. Tracy Matthews. It's like I have these two huge anchors attached to me. 
that make it almost impossible to move. Tracy Matthews weighed 606 pounds. Her ability to walk was hampered by massive swellings. Tracy's cellulitis infections compounded her troubles. As a result, every movement of her legs caused her pain and anguish, making her travel from Northern Ohio to Houston. She lost 90 pounds, which was a positive sign. However, she quickly regained about half of the weight she had lost. Tracy was on the verge of getting kicked out of Dr. Now's program. I've worried about a lot of things, so, but one of them would basically just be dying. But she was determined to mend her ways. As a result, she increased her efforts, and after nine months, she had lost over 167 pounds, bringing her weight down to 439 pounds. Doctor now opted to remove the excess skin from her legs rather than expose her to a typical weight loss operation once she was cleared for surgery. He stated that it would aid in the reduction of her lymphedema swelling. She lost a total of 201 pounds and now weighs 405 pounds. Tracy's weight loss improved her mobility, reduced her husband's caring responsibilities, and improved their relationship. Since then, Tracy has remained very quiet about her weight loss efforts, but we do know that she's returned to Ohio. According to her Facebook profile, she currently resides in Lorraine. She's still married to Anthony Matthews and has three children. Lisa Fleming. Stop it. This is the junk you've been eating. This is why you're not losing any weight. I'm sneaking in junk food for you. Lisa Fleming is a 49-year-old woman. And when she first appeared in season six, she was bedridden and weighed over 740 pounds. Her daughter Danielle and boyfriend Herbert had to take care of her because she couldn't even sit up. Lisa seemed to finally realize how awful things were when her daughter Danielle saw maggots in her mother's leg. And according to Dr. Now, she needed to make a change right away or she wouldn't make it through the year. But during her time on the show, her boyfriend slipped food in for her and when confronted, it resulted in her yelling her lungs out. Then they were advised by the doctor that Lisa's time was over if she didn't change. Lisa was sent home to lose the rest of her weight on her own. And when a nutritionist came over for her follow-up, she put on quite a show. Even though she had the support of her family, she didn't change her eating habits and just kept crying and saying she couldn't control herself when the doctor accused her of lying. Lisa eventually told her doctor that she wanted to die, prompting the hospital to conduct a full psychiatric evaluation on her, only to discover that she had just tried to manipulate them again, getting her kicked off the show. Unfortunately, she died in August 2018 as a result of pre-existing problems she had prior to shooting the episode. Marla McCants. I'm miserable. My weight has trapped me in this bed, and it's killing me. Marla McCants, a self-described junk food junkie who appeared on the show in season three at the age of 43, weighed over 800 pounds. The matriarch arrived at the conclusion that it was time for a change. It wasn't, however, a trivial transition. After being diagnosed with gout, a disorder linked to her weight, McCants was confined to her bed. She stated that she couldn't stop eating when she started. Like so many others, she used food as a coping strategy. Dr. Now was afraid that she would die within days of their encounter. She also needed oxygen at night, and her daughters were the ones who were not only taking care of her, but also enabling her by bringing her the meals she wanted so that she would not become irritated. Marla was not only one of Dr. Now's biggest, but also one of his most difficult patients. She had never been overweight as a youngster, but began to gain weight in her early 20s when she was in an abusive relationship. Marla was terrified to leave the house, and she began to eat a lot. By the time they finally caught her abusive ex-boyfriend, she had gained over 700 pounds. She stopped breathing in the hospital due to a blood clot that had dislodged in one of the arteries, but they were able to stabilize her and put her on a restricted diet to help her lose weight. However, she continued to skip physical therapy and refused to get up for a long time, and she was eventually sent home due to her lack of cooperation. After four months at home, she still refused to get up, and her daughter contacted the doctor again. They were finally able to weigh her after a year and discovered that she had shed over 250 pounds. And four years later, she's not only maintained her weight loss, but has lost an extraordinary 600 pounds. That's all for today's viewers on stories of my 600 pound life patients that will disturb you. 
Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, leave a comment below and rub the like button hard. Last but not least, don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel for our latest videos.